guys, how are you today? Today I'm going to be doing a video inspired by Samantha March and Kelly Gooch here on YouTube. So I'll have their channels linked down below. But I'm basically going to be talking about makeup that I got bored of. This is makeup that maybe I once loved. Actually, I think everything I'm talking about today, I loved at one point. And for some reason or another, I at this point am completely bored of these products. And actually this video has inspired me to also do an eyeshadow palette declutter. So I think I'll be filming that right after this. So look forward to that coming probably very soon as well. Um, but let's go ahead and get into some products that I am just completely bored of at this point. The first product I want to talk about is the, the Balm Priming is Everything Neutral Eyeshadow Primer. This is a product that I've had for a few months and this might be the only one that I never like fully got on board with. But when I first saw it, I loved the idea of it and I was really excited by it. It's just basically a wet eyeshadow primer. It feels almost like a concealer, but it's in its own individual little pot like this or like packaging. I guess you're not going to be able to see it if I swatch it on my hand. Is that going to come across? Do you see like the little tiny stripe right there? It gives you a little bit of color. It gives you a little bit of coverage too. And it feels a little bit sticky. But to me, that extra step of reaching for a separate little, I mean, it's like a little, I don't, it's almost like the packaging maybe. Maybe if it was like in a concealer type packaging, I would use it more or like a typical eyeshadow primer packaging. For some reason, this packaging, I just find myself never ever reaching for it. I really feel like I can get the same thing from my concealers, and so I end up just using my concealers instead of this. So that's something that I've kind of just been bored with. I'm not excited to use it. Now, another thing that I really also find myself bored with is colored highlighters or highlighters that have like a tint of something else in them. The only two that I have left in my collection are the ones, whoops, I almost dropped them, but the ones from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Let me show you. These were some of my favorite ones that I tried and I kept them because I thought, you know, maybe I would use them as eyeshadow or inner corner highlighters. Um, but stuff like this, like look at this one, it's got a little bit of like a purple sheen in one and then a little bit of a green sheen in the other. I don't know if that's going to come across. And then you have this one that has a little bit of an orange sheen and then a little bit of a yellow sheen. Highlighters like this were really big for a while and I just never could hop on the trend. They never looked good on me, but I kept them thinking, oh, eyeshadow, use them on the eyes. And it's just something that I never end up reaching for. I just find myself not excited by these at all. I do get pretty bored at the idea of even reaching for those. It's just an eyeshadow is more exciting than that and they don't work as highlighters for me, so not excited by those at all. Now I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes I want to talk about today. First, I want to talk about the pink palette trend or palettes that just have a lot of pink tones in them. I'm bored of that in general too, and I just have a few palettes here that kind of cross my mind when I think about that. I have my Carity Rose All Day eyeshadow palette. As you can see, very, very pink palette. You've got some literal pinks in there, but then you've also got some softer tones here that do lean more pink. And it's just this type of shadow I find myself not reaching for at all, or this type of palette. If I want a pink, I actually end up using palettes that have a pink in them, but they're not necessarily a pink palette. I'm not really reaching for all pink palettes. Now let me show you another one that I have. I have the um, Glam Light Alondra Desi palette. This one looks like this on the inside. As you can see, very, very pink tones as well. It's a beautiful palette and I loved this for a long time, but just that all pink look, I'm not really reaching for. And along, along the same lines, I have another Glam Light palette, the Glam Light Royalty palette. This one does have some different tones in it. You know, you got some oranges in there and a green in there, but there's still a lot, a lot of pink and even the purples in here end up looking kind of pink. So not a palette that I'm excited for anymore. I just can't do the all pink anymore. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just over that. I'm glad that we're seeing different colors coming out on the market now than just pink, because pink was big for a long time. Now another eyeshadow palette that I was bored of, and I'm sure you guys could guess this one by looking at it, is the BH Cosmetics Opalescent Palette. Um, this one just has a lot of really soft colors in it, which I don't reach for a lot. This is great for someone that likes just like a very, very soft, neutral, everyday look, which is not what I go for at all. So there's a lot of really soft tones in here, very beautiful tones, if you like that soft, everyday look. So if you like that, this is a great palette. But for me, not a great palette. Um, 
The variety in shades just isn't big enough for me to get excited about it. It's just they all end up looking very, very similar and just a bit too soft for me to get excited when I look at this palette. Next, I wanna talk about eyelashes for a second. I am so bored with the over the top, extreme, dramatic lashes. I just, they're not exciting to me anymore. When I see that, I honestly am like, ugh. That just overpowers the look. It To me, when it comes to eyeshadow, or when it comes to eyes, I just love for the eyeshadow to really make a statement. And I feel like, for someone like me that has small eyes, when I'm wearing a really dramatic lash, it kind of just overpowers the look and you can't see the shadow as much. So I prefer just to wear mascara. You guys have probably noticed that in the last few months. I'm still on the hunt for some really good kind of soft, maybe just like accent lashes that I love, but I haven't found any that I love yet. So let me just show you some of the ones that I have in my collection that are just over the top. I have these. It's just, they're so long, they're so over the top. Here we go, here's some more. Um, here's another pair. I just feel like these kind of lashes that are so bold, so long, so extreme, are really good for people that have large eyes or people that just want, if you have small eyes, these can still be great. If you're someone that just likes for the lashes to be kind of like the statement, the main thing that you see on your eyes. But for me, that's not as exciting as doing something fun with my shadow and letting my shadow really talk and shine. <laughs> Next up, I have some glitters here and I actually have quite a lot of them. So let me see if I can grab them all. These have literally been sitting in a drawer in a drawer, I don't know why I can't, like that sounds weird to me right now, for so long. They've been sitting in this drawer and I haven't even opened the drawer in the longest time. So I'm not reaching for these at all, but these are the J-Cat, what are these called? Rocking the Night, no. J-Cat, yeah, Rocking the Night Sparkling Glitters. I mean, I have, I still have more. I cannot hold them all up. I have so many, so many different colors, so many different shades that I really thought I would be excited by them, but I'm not. I really do think it might just be the idea of having to reach for a loose glitter and it's more work this way. And because of that, I'm just not excited. I see them and I'm like, mm, no thanks. I'll reach for one of my liquid glitters or the ones that come in a pot. I don't think I'm gonna reach for loose glitters ever again, really, if I'm being honest. Now, I have another eyeshadow palette here that if I'm being honest, I've been kind of bored of this palette for years and I just haven't been able to get rid of it for some reason, but this is the Naked Cosmetics. Ooh, I don't know what the palette is called. It's from Naked Cosmetics. It's just a little trio eyeshadow palette. I just loved the colors in here for so long. This, I mean, it's honestly, beautiful like let me swatch some of these for you just so you can see like they're so so intense and pigmented and i just loved that for the longest time here's the swatches of the three shadows as you can see absolutely stunning in payoff they're very very beautiful on the eyes they're that really nice opaque almost metallic type of shimmer they look beautiful on the lids really but i never ever reached for this and i feel like it might just be because it is just a trio it only comes with three that i'm never thinking i feel like with something like this you really have to kind of go into your eyeshadow look and be like okay i'm going to use that palette today so what look can i create with that and then try to work everything else around it that's not something that i'm really into i want to just grab a palette and be inspired by that one palette and want to work and I'm okay with bringing in other palettes, but with this one, it's like, I have to look and be like, all right, I want to use that shade just because I think it's pretty. How can I work around it? It's not something that I'm doing. So it's a palette that I never even think about. <laughs> and even when I'm looking for these shades to use, I never think about this palette. I just think about all my other palettes. I just think it's too small that it just kind of slips under the radar. So it's not one that I'm really that excited for anymore. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about are my Benefit Cosmetics Brow Powders. Um, now, it's not just Benefit, I have some other brow powders here, like I have the Brow Gal powder that I'm also just not excited by. I feel like when I think about brow products that I wanna use, powders never ever come to mind, but I have this one here, this is the, uh, what's this one called? Gosh, I can't, oh, this is the brow, this one is the Brow Zings, it comes with two different eyeshadows, you get like a darker shade and a lighter shade, which is nice. And then you have this one here, which also gives you that kind of dark to light. And then I forgot to mention, this one does have like a waxy product inside. 
But then you also have like this one here, same kind of thing. You get a few different tones of brow product in there. I feel like I don't get enough dimension with powder brows like I do when I'm using a wet product um, or like a waxy type product, which I mean, this one does have a waxy finish to it. One of them does. So you can kind of get that look, but it's just not the same as using a pencil or like a brow pomade or something like this, like a setter to kind of just give your brows that oomph, that texture. I like to have texture. I feel like with powder products, my brows just look a little bit flat um, and a little bit too dull. So just not as exciting to me as using, which like brow products you wouldn't think are that exciting anyway. But when I'm thinking boring brow products, it's definitely powder products to me. So I much prefer like the Benefit pencils and the Benefit um, gel. Is that what this is called? Yeah, cream gel brow. I'm actually wearing this today. Anyway, I think that's it for the products that I wanted to talk about today for products that I have gotten bored of in the last few months. Let me know in the comments down below if you have makeup like this that you're super bored of. Any of the things that I talked about today, are you bored of them too or is it just me? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to check out Samantha and Kelly. I'll link them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.